Well, good morning. Today is Friday, August 9th. My shirt. I do my own stunts. <laughs> I don't plan on falling, but you never know. Things happen. I didn't plan on falling at David's graduation, but guess what? I did, and ever since then, I'm leery of falling. I never had a fear of falling until then, and now it's on my mind all the time. But enough of that. We do have an anniversary today because today is Cat, over at Cat on Point, her and her husband Walt's anniversary, so they get a song. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, happy anniversary, Cat and Walt. I like that when you do a taste test, Walt, you're honest. You're very, you'd like you said, like when she was tasting, what was it she was tasting? And she says, oh, it how does it taste? And he went, it tastes really, really, really good, but it just needs a pinch of salt. And I like that because he was honest. You know, you know like we don't want anybody to say, oh, it was really good. And then later, you know, it really wasn't that good <laughs> because that has happened. Not to me. And anyway, um, and Chit Chat Patty Whack, it was funny because right after I uploaded my video, my, my daughter called me and she said, guess what, CBS is back on. So I turned it on and yeah, it was on. And so then I called my son and he has a theory and I think his theory has a lot, has a lot of substance behind it because yesterday was the first day of NFL season. The preseason started yesterday and they do not want to lose their people going to competitors. So they had to sign that contract. If it was a soap opera or something like that, they wouldn't have cared. But football, I know they say baseball is America's number one passion, but I think that, uh, pastime rather, but I think that uh, more people watch football than baseball. I could be wrong. I know more people attend baseball games because the weather's nicer, but, uh, and it's a longer season than football, but I don't know. And Lori Hensley told me that her husband's name was Garrett. She didn't tell me yesterday, remember? Well, you know how I hate, hate, hate admitting that I was wrong. I hate saying that word, wrong. I was wrong. Lori Hensley's husband's not, his name is not Garrett. It's Grady. <laughs> happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary to Laurie and Grady Hensley. <laughs> I had to fix that. Tell me. And Susan Edenfield, her birthday was on the 7th. It wasn't the 8th. It was the 7th. And she said that I sang to her last year, and I looked, and guess what? You know, a lot of, uh, it didn't come over. And then I looked in August, and a lot of you August birthdays didn't come over. So I... I've got them all in my phone now, so they're all set. So, Susan Edenfield, you get a belated birthday song. I know you got a birthday song yesterday, but it wasn't truly your birthday. On the seventh was Susan's birthday. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dear Susan. Happy belated birthday to you. Cha cha cha. All right, I'm wondering what's taking Sophia so long. She was a sleepyhead. She really was. Um, she left her blanket. When she was, when Chrissy was pregnant with uh, Sophia, I had taken her to get her nursery together, you know, like to get the crib and all that, all that stuff. And uh, Chrissy came, and it was like, it was a lot. So uh, Chrissy came across this blanket that Christy fell in love with. It was a purple polka dot plank, blanket with a little monkey in it. She says, oh, you gotta buy this, you gotta buy this. And I said, no. <clears throat> and she's, no, really, you gotta buy it, you gotta buy it. I said, okay, I'll buy it. Well, Sophia's nine years old, and it's her favorite blanket, and she sleeps with the blanket all the time. Well, on Tuesday, um, she went to, with Denise to one of her friend's house to go swimming in their built-in pool, which is closer to Christy picking her up than coming way out here to pick her up. So she went and picked her up there, but her blanket was here. So for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, no blanket. So when she climbed in bed with Grandma this morning, Grandma had her blanket all ready for her. And so she all bundled up in it, so I took a picture. And I sent it to Christy, and she shared it on Facebook, so I'm figuring it's out there now. I can do it too. Um, 
Denise is going to lunch with her girlfriend today that lives up in Lexington, where our cottage, where we go to the cottage. And uh, so she's um, leaving Kylie with me, and so she's not going to walk. And then what else? Going to stay on track today. I'm going to have a peach when I get back from Oh, i got to water my flowers because they're looking kind of sad. I thought it was going to rain yesterday. I showed you those clouds. It never rained. It passed over us. So they're, they're saying, Sandy, water me. I need some water. And I got my water bill, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, so that was good. But uh, i got to go see what's taking Sophia so long because I'm ready to go walking, and she's not here. So let me go see what she's doing. There's the Pokemon. There's the sleepyhead. What were you happy to see this morning when you got here? My blanket. Her blanket. But last year, we well, we missed a birthday this year. We missed Susan Pink's birthday. It was on August 1st. And she said last year, Sophia sang to her too. So you're going to sing to Susan again? But we got to say belated birthday because we're late. All right. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dear Susan. Happy belated birthday to you. Cha cha cha. All right, we're gonna go get Kylie. Are you all enthused about this walk? No. No. She doesn't want to walk. But it's beautiful. It's nice out, isn't it? It's very nice. And look at Sophia. She always smiles. She's a happy, happy girl. Aren't you? Yeah. She's pretty too. Okay, we let's go. Well, look who's dragging behind us. You want to see them put some some perk into their step? Uh, if you girls want to go ahead and just go home, and, uh, just make sure that you uh, don't answer the door for anybody. You can pass me up and go. They've been dragging behind me the whole time. Okay, they left me too far for them to walk. Well, the girls quit after a mile and a half, and I just did another mile. Um, going to water my plants. I think I'm going to vacuum my car, clean out my hummingbird feeders and refill them, and then watch some YouTube videos and just stay on track for the rest of the day. Tomorrow's weigh-in. I'm trying very hard just to stay the same. I want a turtle tomorrow because uh, between the popcorn and the cookies, I'm not hoping for a loss. But I'm hoping I did well enough during the week to balance out my binges. So let's go in and uh, see what the girls are doing. Okay, apparently today not only is laundry day, it's cutting the lawn day. All my neighbors are cutting their lawn, so I'm sure when Jim gets home he's going to cut our lawn. But I'm going to eat my breakfast now. I'm just going to have a bowl of oatmeal, an egg, and a banana. I had a peach earlier when I got back from my walk. I'm going to have a diet cranberry juice. Of course I'm going to have water and my tea. I started my day with a prayer. I drank 60 ounces of water. My quote is, once you believe in yourself and you put your mind to something, you can do it. Uh, 23 smart points, I used five, zero for my egg, banana, tea, water, the diet cranberry juice, and the peach that I ate earlier. Four points for a half a cup of the dry oatmeal before I cook it, and one point for a quarter cup of 2% milk. So I still have 18 points left for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm going to have a snack. Um, I'm going to have some pita crackers for three points, an ounce of pepper jack cheese, and a cucumber. And I still had some tea left in my pot, so I'm going to have a cup of tea. Uh, it's a seven-point snack, so I still have 11 points left for my dinner. Okay, I'm going to have a humongous salad. And look at how good I wrapped that. It's a tuna sandwich. I'm just so proud of myself. A glass of water and an unsweetened iced tea. So it is a six-point dinner, three points for my feta cheese, zero for my tuna, the spinach, the cucumber, the peppers, the onion, tomato, and the tea. One point for my extreme wellness wrap, one point for five olives, and one point for two tablespoons of dressing. Six points, I have five points left, but I don't think I'm going to eat any more tonight. Friends. You guys say it again now, you, gotta, you always start too soon. Hello, my friends. We were just watching... What, Bohemian Rhapsody, that was a good movie. I hadn't seen it, but Sandy hadn't, but she was kind enough to let me see it. Yes, I watched it twice. I hope you're all doing well and having a great summer. She made fun of me with my salad. 
was a never ending salad. The salad seemed to keep going on and on and on, no matter how much you ate of it <laughs> in the same bowl. She never understands why you guys love her. Neither do I, but you know. What's not to love? <laughs> Well, here's my shirt of the day. You won't see it tomorrow. It's the cheese house in Frankenmuth. I love cheese. I think I was a rat in another life. <laughs> I really do. Um, well, Bertie just left. She had called me when she, on her way home from work, and she had said that, oh, you know, I thought I'd come over tonight and watch that Bohemian Rhapsody that you had on your DVR. And I said, I watched that a couple weeks ago. Oh, I said, but I think I can get it on demand. She says, oh, you don't mind? And I go, no, I don't care. So she came over, and we watched that. And she made fun of me while I was eating my salad. I don't have very many teeth, see, and it's, it takes me a little while to eat stuff, which is good because then I don't eat as much, although you've seen my plates. Obviously, I know how to eat a lot, but I want to address a few issues. Um, I wanted to congratulate ha Haley Norwood because she's in Wonderland. Yay, Haley. I'll get there. I'm determined. I will get there. I don't know when it'll be, but I'll get there, but congratulations because she's there right now, and Paige Parson Lewis. She had a good analogy uh, She's about um, forgiving and forgetting because somebody she knew was a preacher or a minister or something like that. And they did a sermon once about this guy was on a boat and it was sinking. And so he took his shoes and socks off. And when somebody walked by, the maybe the boat wasn't sinking. Anyway, listen to the analogy because it makes sense. This guy was on a boat, and he's sitting on the boat, and he took his shoes and socks off. And some man walked by and kicked one of his socks into the water. And so then with that, the man took his other sock, and he threw that into the water. And the man said, why would you do that? He said, because I want to forget this ever happened. And if I have the one sock around, it'll be a reminder, and I don't want that. That made sense. I realized that at the time, Barb was grieving because of her father, and that's why I forgave her, because I really don't think... She even was aware she said it. but uh, And Susan Pink is like on the fence about where she wants to go with her diet. Um, she's been reading, seeing a lot of people doing keto, and she's just wondering if that's what she should do. I think for my own personal self, this is just speaking for my own personal self, it seems like a lot of work because you got to be in ketosis or something, and you got to do this, you got to do that, and if you go off, you got to get back on. Blah, blah, blah. So it just seems like a lot of work to me. But I've always said, and you know I've said this before, whatever works for you is the right plan for you. And if keto works for you, then stick with keto. Uh, freestyle seems to be working for me when I follow the plan the right way. Uh, my screw up for this past year was not any fault of freestyle. It was, it was on this one here. It was on me. I, and I abused the system, and I refused to abuse it anymore. <laughs> so I'm trying to get back on track. And I wanted to give a big welcome to Carrie Bellevue, who came over from uh, Pastor, Bar Pastor Barrett Pastor's channel. Uh, she saw on Facebook, and I guess Barrett recommended me. Thank you so much, Barrett. I so appreciate that. And welcome to Carrie Bellevue. Thank you for joining us. We'll get there. We really will. Uh, and Debbie Bishop, congratulations. She just found out that her only child's going to have a baby, and so she's going to be a grandma best gift ever being a grandma it's like you can spoil them all you want and then you hand them back it's just it's the it's the best it really is the best and pamela h was saying about she doesn't like to have verners anymore because her mother used to make her have it all the time when she was sick and so she's just fed up with it <laughs> that's why i like verners because it really helps me when i'm sick i i have a 12 pack of diet verners in my refrigerator just just in case I would get sick, that I'll have some Verners in there. And if Jim's ever sick and he goes, oh, I don't feel good, let me go get you a Verners. It works. Plus, twofold, well, it's threefold because you can just drink it as a pop, soda, tonic, whatever you want to call it in your area, or a Coke if, if you're in the South. I never can get my wrap my mind around that. You go to a restaurant, what do you like? I'd like a Coke. Well, what flavor? A Coke. <laughs> no, you can get orange and grape. Or, but anyway, anyway, we use uh, Verner's on our hams. When you bake your ham in the oven, you put the Verner's on top. I do that all the time. I love it. So, all right. Um, I don't foresee a loss tomorrow, but I'm fine with it. Um, I learned my lesson this week. I had the cookie debacle, and I had the um, popcorn, buttered popcorn, no less. 
but uh, I think I reined it in enough the other time that it won't be a huge gain. I think it'll just be a, like a pound, maybe a pound and a half, which is still bad, but uh, it's not as bad as it could have been because I could have said, well, I had buttered popcorn Friday and Saturday, I might have, or Saturday and Sunday, rather, and I might as well wait till following Saturday. Or when I had the cookies on Tuesday night, or was it Wednesday night? Tuesday night. I had Tuesday night when I had the cookies. I could have said, well, the week is shot, but no, I didn't. I had them. I enjoyed them learn from them and moved on and so I'll just take the uh, well take my pill and swallow it and move on do better next week so I will see you guys in the morning on the way to the meeting and once again I wanted to apologize for having see now I forgot what his name was Grady I call him Garrett but it was Grady I apologize Grady your name's not Garrett it's Grady so okay I'll talk to you guys tomorrow